What's wrong with being? What's wrong with being confident? Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So currently, I'm obsessing over Demi Lovato's look at the AMAs. Her hair and makeup was on point. I definitely did not chop up my hair for this look. So if you guys want to see how you can create a faux bob and get her makeup look, keep on watching. So we're going to start with her hair and split it about two fingers above your ear. And then you're just going to put that up. The bottom half, you're going to get a hair tie. And then you're going to twist it up and bobby pin it down. I used about five bobby pins, so just make sure it's super secure. Now I'm just going to create a deep side part and section off the front half of my hair just using a clip and a rubber band to separate it from the back. Now using my Herbal Essence hairspray and my Hot Tools wand, I'm going to take a strand about an inch wide, hairspray it, and then curl it and hold it for about 10 seconds. I did speed this part up. So it wouldn't be super long, but every strand I was holding for about 10 seconds long. And then once the back's done, I'm going to go to the front. And pretty much here, I split it up into four sections and then in half. And then I just curled it, same thing with the hairspray first, and then hold it for 10 seconds. And then my last strand, I split it on the top as well. And then just making sure to curl it towards the side of your part. And then the front two pieces, make sure you're curling it upwards towards the sky. And I have a lot of baby hairs in the front, so I just made sure to put some extra, extra hairspray there. And then we're just going to move on to the other side and do the same exact thing. how it looks when all my hair is curled now we're gonna start pinning it down so I'm gonna start on the my right side and probably about two fingers width down you're just gonna kind of poof up the section and then bobby pin it down and this is how it's gonna hold kind of like the wavy look and then she has her hair behind her ear so you can do the same thing kind of poof it up a little bit and bobby pin it down now there's some extra length that I don't want so I'm just gonna roll it up and pin it back. Now for the other side, I'm gonna use prong clips and big sexy hair hairspray, and I'm gonna grab a section, do the same thing by puffing it up, apply hairspray, and then clip that hair into place. And I'm gonna use three clips per section, and then kind of puff it up, and then add more hairspray. The reason I switched to this hairspray is because the hold is a lot stronger, and I want the waves in place so they could be noticeable. And then I'm going to do that in three sections, coping it down. And then that's a little piece that was bugging me, so I just pinned it back. Hair is done. Let's move on to makeup. Let's start by priming our eyes with Painterly and a flat brush and applying that on our entire eyelid. Then we're going to set that with a white shadow using the NYX Natural Palette just to increase the wear of the eyeshadow. For the rest of the shadow, I'm going to be using the Morphe 35D Palette. I'm going to take a Sigma E35 blending brush and apply the brown color onto my crease. Now taking the black eyeshadow, I'm going to take a flat brush and literally pack on the color onto my eyelid. And I'm going to keep packing and packing to create a really black dense color and then I'm going to take the Sigma E35 brush once again add a little bit of brown eyeshadow and blend it out and you're just going to keep doing it and making sure that it's very blended and then very dark obviously with the black color because your eye is very smoky. Then I'm going to use my Neutrogena makeup remover wipes and just clean up any fallout under my eye pulling that up towards my brow. Now for foundation I'm going to be using Max Match Master in the color 1.5 and applying that with a damp beauty blender. To conceal and highlight, I'm going to be using the Maybelline Master Concealer in the color Light and applying that under my eyes in kind of a triangle shape, the bridge of my nose, Cupid's bow, chin, and forehead. Now I'm going to contour my face using the LA Girl Pro Concealer in the color Espresso 
And I'm going to apply that to my cheekbones, around my nostrils, and a little bit on my forehead. And then, of course, my jawline. Demi's contour was not very intense at all. So I do want it to be very light and very blended. And then I'm just going to blend that out with a damp beauty blender. The area that Demi did have to find was her cheekbone. I'm going to take a dual fiber brush and the color Shadow Play from the Kat Von D Contour Palette and just intensify that contour. And lastly, I contour my nose, so I'm just going to take the color Espresso and the brush and I'm going to draw lines down the sides of my nose and on the tip. Then I'm going to blend that out with a Sigma E71 brush. And still using the Kat Von D Contour Palette, I'm going to take the color Lyric and set my under eyes using a Sigma F35. And for falsies, I'm going to use Coco Lashes and Goddess. For blush, I'm going to be using Eternal Sun by MAC and applying it with a Morphe M405 brush, starting at the apples of my cheeks and dusting it upward. Using the Benefit High Beam Highlighter, I'm going to apply little dots on the apples of my cheeks, the tip of my nose, and Cupid's bow. And then I'm going to use my finger to blend that out. You can see it has like a little pinkish tone. Very beautiful. I wanted a little bit more of a pop, so I just added some more right um, on my cheekbone. Now using a black eye pencil, I'm going to apply that onto my waterline and I'm just going to use a beauty blender to just make it easier to get in there. And then I'm going to take a pointed pencil brush and just really smoke out my under eyes with the black shadow. For that pop in my inner corner, I'm going to take this MAC pigment in the color white and a different pencil brush and just really apply it in the inner tear duct and bring the pigment along my waterline. Finishing off with lips, I'm going to use the NYX Lip Pencil in the color Auburn and line my lips. Pretty self-explanatory. And I'm going to start off by using Icon by Hourglass and filling in my lips. Then I'm going to darken the outline of my lips with the color Diva from MAC. My puppy got to my lipstick, so I had to use a lip brush to apply it, which actually worked out better because I had way more control. And I was able to really deepen the outline of it. The only part that I didn't darken was my lower lip right in the middle. Finish off the hair. We're just going to take off all the prong clips that we use. Pin any hair that may have fallen out. And then I'm going to apply a little bit of extra hairspray right on the front. I hope you guys enjoyed this look. Demi is one of my idols. As a Latina, I'm just so inspired by her work, her music. Everything that she tries to do is just so inspiring based on everything that she's been through and how she's just like pushing ahead and showing women how to really be confident and I'm 100% on that train. So I just felt like it was really appropriate overall to recreate this look. Her hair was on point. I can't believe she cut it even shorter, but she totally pulls it off. Um, as for makeup, I just felt like her look was very wearable to probably a lot of holiday parties that you guys might be invited to or even just a night out with your friends. Um, and if you want to be creative, you could even create like a little faux bop to kind of change up your hair. I was like kind of digging it, but I am too scared to cut my hair even shorter. If you do wear it, make sure you're always feeling confident. Uh -huh. I hope you guys enjoyed this look. Thank you so much for watching. If you guys haven't yet, make sure to subscribe, hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time. Bye.